Hey there, comic book fans. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Disney greenlit a Fantastic Four movie back in 1975? Let's dive into this what-if scenario and imagine the ultimate retro superhero flick. First off, the cast. For Mr. Fantastic, I'd pick the ever-so-dapper Robert Redford. He had that perfect blend of intelligence and charm. As for the Invisible Woman, how about the stunning Faye Dunaway? She was at the top of her game in the 70s and would absolutely nail Sue Storm's elegance and strength. Now let's talk about the Human Torch. I can totally see a young Jeff Bridges taking on this fiery role. He had the energy and charisma to bring Johnny Storm to life. And last but definitely not least for The Thing, who better than the iconic Charles Bronson? With his rugged demeanor, he's perfect to portray Ben Grimm. So, who's directing this retro superhero extravaganza? None other than the visionary Steven Spielberg. Fresh off the success of Jaws in 75, Spielberg would bring the right mix of adventure and heart to the Fantastic Four. Now, let's get to the villains. Doctor Doom, of course, would be the main antagonist. Imagine Christopher Lee donning that metal mask and cape. His commanding presence and voice would make for an unforgettable doom. And for an added twist, let's throw in the Submariner Nemo. Played by the suave Burt Reynolds, Nemo's complex character would add a fascinating dynamic to the story. Picture this. The opening scene showcases the Fantastic Four's origin story with Spielberg's signature sweeping shots and dramatic music, the space mission, the cosmic rays and the transformation all captured in glorious 70s cinematography. Then we move on to the heart of the film, the clash with Doctor Doom. Epic battles unfold in the streets of New York with practical effects and stunts that were groundbreaking for that era. And the underwater sequences with Namor, pure visual spectacle. As for the film's rating, it would likely be a solid PG. The 70s were a different time for superhero movies, with a focus on adventure and family-friendly fun. But don't worry, there'd still be plenty of action and suspense to keep fans on the edge of their seats. And of course, comic book accuracy would be a top priority. Spielberg's attention to detail and respect for source material would ensure that the characters and storylines stay true to the original comics. And so there you have it, the ultimate what if. A 1975 Fantastic Four movie with a stellar cast, an iconic director and unforgettable villains. What do you think? Would this retro superhero film be a hit? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more comic book what ifs and nostalgic dives into the world of superheroes. Catch you next time.